This is a tank that has no outlet. We're going to design a proportional only controller for this. Uh, this system right here and uh, we have a level transmitter that's going to be able to measure the level and then that information is going to be fed to a level controller and the level controller is going to adjust the valve open or close to try to meet a certain uh, level set point okay so this might be our set point and uh, we have this uh, these equations right here that describe the dynamics of the system we have this uh, PI our P only controller that we're going to try to set up to maintain a level of 10 meters and we'll test the P only controller with different values of KC that's going to be our controller gain by integrating the mass balance equation for a period of just 10 seconds and we'll use a value of about a thousand for our density that's kilograms per meter cube and a cross-sectional area of one meter squared uh, for the tank for the valve we'll assume a valve has uh, this coefficient right here so if you have it one percent open it's going to be 50 kilograms per second so a very large valve make sure the valve does not exceed the limits of zero to a hundred percent and we'll do that by clipping the requested value opening to an acceptable range so for example if it requests 150 percent we'll use hundred percent instead so we'll just clip the uh, controller output. Okay, so I'm going to come in um, and just develop some example code here and then we'll fill in some of the blanks for this. So I'm going to go through this a little bit fast because we've already developed this in a prior simulation. We're going to import NumPy and Matplotlib. We'll need NumPy for the analysis, uh, matrices and uh, vectors. We'll need Matplotlib for plotting and then we'll need ODE int uh, in our SciPy integrate uh, to be able to integrate this differential equation. Although it's going to be very simple, you could almost do it uh, just by solving the explicit solution of this differential equation. But we're going to set this function with our density, our cross-sectional area, and then we'll calculate the derivative of the level. So this is going to be our derivative, d level, d time. And remember, you got to put everything on the right-hand side. So you had um, this differential equation that you see up above. We're just putting that into this d h d t, or d level, d time. And then I had to divide over the uh, row and the, the density and the area. And then I have that all multiplied by the valve. Now I have my valve coefficient C in there as well. Okay, so that's where that came from. Let's keep going. I'm going to return the level. So that function has inputs of level time. I have a valve coefficient and my valve as well. So I can change my valve. I have my time span set up. I'm going to have 101 points between 0 and 10, so that gives me a time point every 0.1 seconds. And I use the lens space for that. Here's my valve coefficient. And then I just set up uh, my valve opening. Uh, now, in this case, those are just going to be zeros initially. As we go through, those will change. So there's my initial level of 0, and my initial valve position is 0 as well. And then I'm just going to store the results in Z. I'm going to have 101 of those values as well. Okay, also there's here's my air. Uh, I'm just going to have ES uh, for that just so I can plot and see what that looks like. So I'm going to also have a U bias in my controller. As we talked about with the proportional only controller, you have U bias plus KC times the air. And I also need to decide what tuning value for KC. So I can put different values in there and then see how it's going to respond. And then I want to record the uh, desired level which is the set point, and then I'll simulate with ODE int. Now, I'm a, I need to go through each of these cycles. Uh, I only need to go through 100 of them because the 101st one is just going to be my initial condition, and then I have 100 steps after that, so 0.1 steps. And then first of all, I want to just calculate the error, the difference between the set point and the measured level. Now, in that case, it's just the level 0, which is the initial one, but I'll update that each loop here. I'll put the P-only P controller here, and I'll have a, a valve opening, so that P only controller is going to tell me what my valve needs to be. And um, I'm also just going to store that value in a vector so that I can plot it later. And I'm also going to store the air. And there, here's where I integrate the uh, tank just for one time step, just for 0.1 time. And I'm going to do that 100 times. And then I pass in my arguments of C. My, my C value doesn't change, but my valve might change. 
And then I also want to just take the last point and record that. And that's going to become my initial condition next time I go through that loop. So there's where I'm, I'm setting up all the values. Now I want to plot the results. Here's my figure. I'm going to have three subplots. The first one is just going to be the, um, in this case, it's going to be the level. And then I also want to have the level set point on there as well. I might add that. Um, here's the valve. So I'm just going to add the valve, put a legend in there. And my third subplot is going to be my error. So I'm just going to look at the difference between my set point and my PV value. And then I'll show the plot. Okay, so there's my script, um, and then uh, let's go through some of these uh, different things and try to, uh, well, first of all, let's go ahead and talk about the P-only controller. So the valve, the controller output, is going to be equal to U-bias plus KC um, times the set point minus the PV, the measured level. Okay, and this is going to be the error. Now the U bias is going to be whatever I have in my controller when I first turn it on. So the valve is initially at zero. And then I'm going to have KC. I'm going to plug in some different values there. And then I'm going to have my level uh, set point minus my measured level. Okay, so I'm going to put that into my script. Let's go back here and just uh, review that on these to do things. What is the value for U bias? We said that that was going to be equal to zero. And I'm just going to put a KC value in there of one just to start with. So if it's off by 0.1, then it's going to increase the valve by 0.1. Okay, here's the desired uh, set point, which is going to be 10. And then I'm going to also add that down here to the as a plot thing. Okay, I'm just going to add. Um, Let's just go from 0 to 10. OK, and then I'm going to put in 10, 10. And I'll just make that a red uh, dashed line. And that's going to be the level uh, set point. OK, so I've got that in here as well. And um, then I also want to go down here and put in my uh, P only controller. Here's my valve which is going to be U bias, that's going to be equal to zero plus KC times the error. So I put that in there. So every time it goes through that loop, it's going to decide on a value of the valve. Okay, I'm going to open this up in um, environment that I can run it with. Uh, I'll open it up in uh, Python, and this is going to be IDLE, and then I'll run it. Okay, so it's going to run this script and then hopefully come up with a plot. We'll look at, uh, we'll fix any errors as they come up. But it looks like it's running right now. Okay, so it looks like it, um, here's the valve. I was off by 10 initially, and so it opened up the valve because I had a, a controller gain of 1. It opened up the valve 10, and then you can see as it, as the air decreases, the valve decreases as well. Here's the air right here, and so the valve is just going to be 1 times the error. Okay, let's go ahead and increase that gain a little bit because um, we want to try to get there a little bit faster. So let's um, let's go down to our gain. Here's our gain. And I'm just going to increase that by a factor of 10. And let me go ahead and close that plot. Run it again. And then it'll just run through. And it looks like it does a little bit better there. Okay, so it's, it's uh, reaching the set point. And you can see that the valve opens up to 100% and then starts to uh, shut. Now you can see here the air is 10 again, and then the air decreases to 0 as I reach my set point. Let's go a little bit higher and see if we can get any better. OK, I'm going to go up to 20. Run it again. And uh, then we're going to see that. Um, the valve open to 200%. Now part of the problem statement said we can't go above 100% or below zero. So let's just go ahead and put some constraints into our script. Um, what I need to do is down here, just to be realistic, I need to um, go ahead and clip that. So if the valve is, uh, I'll just say if valve is greater than uh, 100, 
then uh, what we're going to do is just say the valve is equal to 100. Okay, and then let's go and clip it on zero as well. Another way to do that is valve equals, uh, and then we could do max zero comma uh, valve. Okay, so if the valve is like negative 10 right here, then uh, it's going to look at the maximum between those two numbers, and it's going to say, well, your maximum is zero. So let's assign the new valve to be equal to zero. So there are two different ways to do that. But these are uh, clipping, call this clipping the output to be within the uh, range of what a, the valve could uh, handle. If you want to just include this as one line, uh, you could do, do min 100, okay, and you're going to be calculating the max of zero. So this clips it between zero and 100, that one line right there. Let's run this one more time and just see what this does. Okay, so now we have, uh, you can see that uh, the controller told it to go to 200, but it was clipped at 100. So uh, you can see this period where it saturates. The controller is saturated and then it um, is not saturated anymore. It's about as fast as it can go during this uh, first period because it opens all the way. And you can see this water tank filling up until it gets up to uh, the new set point and then the valve is shutting off. So this is a proportional only controller and we've designed it with um, you know this, uh, this simple equation. This is our PI or this is proportional only controller and later we'll get on to uh, other systems as well. Now this is going to work well. P only controllers really work well with what are called integrating systems. Um, it's where the steady state depends on the prior history it doesn't return to the same steady state uh, all the time. So uh, this integrating system, uh, if you have an integrating system, then P-only controllers work really well.